Not sure how many days it's been. The first few nights were more than a haze. The pain, what I thought, was the worst a human could go through. The man who saved me, Jackson, and his wife, they've done more for me than anybody could ask. They explained to me at a minimum I had a few broken ribs and an infection. They had been giving me what pain meds and antibiotics they have, but Jackson, he began to explain to me that the antibiotics had run out and that there was still an infection in my chest. He knew of a town to the north where we could find some, but it, it was going to be dangerous considering the circumstances. The look of fear on his wife's face, that told me there was something more. But I wasn't going to argue as I trusted he knew it was best he's gotten me this far. We gathered some basic supplies and a few guns. He gave me a silenced pistol so I don't attract attention like in the last town, as well as an MP5 he found through his travels just in case of an emergency. It only took us what felt like an hour to get to the outskirts of the town. The plan was for him to hold watch. I didn't want him to risk any more than he had to. It was going to be quick. I was going to run in, find the medicine, get what I could hold, and get out. Oh shit! Zolno is a little different from other towns by today's standard. You think the infected control the towns, which is usually true. But on the north side of town there's a group of bandits. They give no mercy to survivors. Women, children, doesn't matter. If you're lucky, they kill you on the spot. But most times, they'll toy with you. Torture you. I was hoping we were fast enough, but they must have spotted us and set off that trap. I'm not sure what happened or how we got out without them even taking a shot at us. Looks like we got lucky. As we heard those gunshots, we traveled back to camp fearing the worst. They must have found her looking for us. It couldn't have been anybody else. No supplies were taken. Time seemed to stand still as I watched Jackson hold his wife's hand. The pain in my chest was nothing, nothing, compared to the anguish he is going through. They're all going to die. 